May profits be upon you. This is part two of the weekly Forex forecast. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, and uh, watching the first part. Make sure you watch that first part. Uh, I, there's a link in the uh, below this video. Okay. Um, the last one I did was EuroCAD. We're moving on to Euro Aussie. Euro Aussie. Now Euro Aussie is interesting to me because. I could stop doing that because you can see it's a bullish market, right? But is it going to remain bullish? Is a question. You see all that uh, momentum in that candle? That's a lot of buyers. That's a lot of buyers taking control there. That's a daily candle, right? And it it can be seen a little bit clearer on the four hour, right? On the four hour, we have price going up, rallying into this, uh, what I call a sell area, a sell zone, but this is a, a supply zone. And price is already the first candle of the uh, the new week is here. And it is a doji. I believe price may turn bearish here for the near term. And then bullish again once it gets down to this breakout the breakout area all right uh this is this area it is a fair value gap and uh uh i think that price is will find that as a pull you know it is a it'll like a the pull of a magnet will come down and then quite possibly continue higher at least come back towards that high uh, into uh, into this uh, the supply zone. So that's uh, my direction here. Uh, you can take this buy. I mean, you can take the sell to the buy. All right. This sell, um, you, just understand that uh, from what I told you in the first video, part one, the Aussie dollar is about to become a little bit weaker. All right. And I want to play play it towards weakness. I want to sell the Aussie. Uh, but and the euro is is there's a chance that it may roll over towards the weak side, but it'll be stronger than the Aussie dollar. All right. So uh, I'm looking for sh short term weakness and then longer term strength. All right. Let's go to euro New Zealand dollar. All right. Euro New Zealand dollar is again another bullish market. All right. And I do believe. The market may turn for the near term uh, bearish because there was a very nice push, a very nice impulse. All right. Like I told you before, impulse, correction, impulse, correction. That's the way uptrends are created. OK. And we have that here. Impulse, correction, impulse. I'm looking for the next correction. And that next correction, you could sell it. It is tradable on the daily uh, on a day trading um uh time zones like uh uh, uh, uh time frames like uh, the uh, 15 minute the, the one hour the four hour all right but uh for 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 those who are looking for swings i'm looking to take a buy right from this area here and hold on to it so we'll see we'll see how it goes okay uh and my alert is I want that alert here. I don't know how it got down there. Who did that? All right. So I, I just saved it. Or I want to save it immediately. Thank you. All right. So we'll move on to the next one. Pound USD. Pound USD. All right. Let's see what the cable's doing. All right. Now, I told you this was a funny one because the pound is in the same kind of state that the euro is is in it's in an indecisive state you can see the range here here this is the top and bottom of the range you want to sell from the top right and you want to buy from the bottom right but we are in the middle i don't like that chewy middle because you can get chewed up okay so i'm waiting for a decision now we have a a, a trend line going up right price got below that trend line and hasn't been able to come up under or come from up under it you understand that support here here 
here has turned into resistance, resistance, resistance. So uh, I'm waiting for this to make a decision. You understand what it's bullish and bearish. And if the US dollar reacts the way we thought, the, the way I explained and drew it out on uh, in the previous video, uh, in part one, I do believe that we should be going down. I'm looking for price to close on a daily basis, on a daily closing basis. All right. I'm looking for a closure, a daily closure below that low at a 1.2353. All right. If it closes above the high at 1.2539, that's fine too. Then I know it's going to go higher. All right. But while it's in the middle, eh, I'm not sure I want to mess around with it. I want to I'm, gonna, I'm looking for a sell, really, but I, I'm not going to sell until it gives me bearish price action. All right, let's go to pound Aussie dollar. Pound Aussie dollar. If we go to the daily, we can see that it is uh, on a trend line. All right, it's holding to a trend line right now. But on a, if we get closer, we can see that it's been rallying. Right, right. Rallying's been strong. And then it comes here. It, then we see this big old bearish candle coming down to the demand zone here. All right. It doesn't get any lower, though. All of last week, it traveled here. All right. Until on uh, uh, Friday, it gives us rally candle here. All right. The candle closes above the previous highs. Now, a Friday candle that does this is kind of like you, you know, you take it with uh, some caution. All right. You don't just take it on face value like, mm, well, it looks like it's going to be bullish. You look for follow through on Monday after a Friday candle that shows uh, some strong momentum in either direction. You understand? OK, so uh, as price uh, did break above this, I'm looking for price to come down and it did exactly that. You see how I have this little blue area here? That's a demand zone. And you can see it on the four hour. All right. And I thought if price comes down here and touches, this may prove to be the uh, a, a good buy, a good buy position. All right. So I'm waiting for price to come down here. Boom. Boom. You understand? That's easy. All right. I'm looking for that Aussie weakness to keep to kick in. To the pound and we'll see what happens after that all right but i am this is this is uh, generally i'm bullish on pound aussie but we're going to see uh uh we, we need to see some bullish price action some confirmations right all right uh pound cad is next pound cad i should have put some water down here because i don't know what's going on here all right so it's a bullish market, obviously. If we go to the uh, daily, we can see that uh, pretty clearly. All right, it's been bullish. Comes come uh, made this high, made this nice little uh, bull flag, right? And then we are popping off to the top here. All right, so that's good. That's good stuff. All right, uh, we have bullish indications here, but what it did was it respected a trend line, right? And then we finally get a closure above that trend line. So I'm bullish in this market. All right. And the CAD is one of the ones uh, that I believe is going to weaken. All right. So near term, near term, I'm looking for price to pull back to the breakout area and give us some bullish price action. And then we can take a buy here. Simple. All right. That'll be on top of this uh, trend line. Right. Or retest of the trend line after it breaks through or retest of the trend line. Does that make sense to you supporting the resistance traders? All right. All right. But I, I like that here because I believe there's a demand zone here on the four on the four hour that I believe it'll come back and retest and we can take buys from there. Let's move on. Pound New Zealand dollar. Pound New Zealand dollar. Another weak pair. Another weak currency, New Zealand dollar. And the pound is going to be outperform the weaker New Zealand dollar, I believe. I believe this is going to be a, a bullish scenario. All right. And 
on a daily basis, we can see the rally from last week. All right, this is the new candle. Of course, it wants to come back and retest. So let's look at the four hour. I believe that retest of this breakout zone. All right, you see the, the big bullish candle, it came down, it totally engulfed this candle, right? Totally engulfed the previous two candles, boom. And then we see the rally, all right? I'm looking for price to come back down, retest this area, all right? Which is, I believe, is a good de demand zone. And then we could see a rally from there. So that's what I'm looking for. This uh, breakout area to be retested. And we can take buys from there. I'm looking for it, but we want to wait for confirmation. So I'm going to put an alert here just to be wary to look out look at this place and not to jump into a buy but to look for bullish price action to confirm entry for a buy the next one is us dollar cat us dollar cat let's get back to the daily all right uh this one <laughs> you got to see this thing all right uh f the week on the weekly time frame you can see that with this rally here it's been Correcting, correcting, correcting. This looks very corrective, not impulsive, but corrective. And then we get that impulse up. All right. So as price breaks out of this, this, these, these highs, breaks out of this range, it comes back to retest. Perfectly. You understand? I don't. It, you might not like diagonal uh, support and resistance lines, but it's something I make note of. It's not something I bank on. But this one is hitting perfectly once, twice, three times. Okay. All right. And look, from this high, we connect that dot and we say, this is a possible trend line. And then it hits it again perfectly. So we have a wedge forming, right? We have a wedge forming and we have a support line that has a bit of history here. So I'm 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 digging this this scenario but which direction will it go in right well, what did i say in the last video the last video i talked about us dollar possibly gaining strength during this week all right we have some news coming on thursday gdp news and then friday we have cpe all right uh core pce all right so um, so um i'm looking at this range from this top from this this, the top of the range here to the bottom of the range here, right? And you can buy and you can sell the, the highs and you can uh, buy the lows, right? And you'll be in good money if you want to play the range, all right? But we've already come back to the bottom and I believe we are heading back up to the other side right now. Again, let me show you that weekly. Look at that weekly candle, all right? That weekly candle closed high all right and we're looking for some follow through after it hit this support line one two for the third time perfectly and it's only hit it twice up here so far you understand so we might be heading to that top and i believe that's exactly what's going to happen with a a, a stronger u.s dollar and a weak canadian dollar so that's all to say look for a buy and I believe the buy may, may come as price has already impulsively moved. And I'm looking for that correction. All right. And I believe the correction will come somewhere around this level here at uh, 134.88 uh, thereabouts. All right. 86. So uh, I'm looking for a pullback. And once price starts to uh, pull back and we get some uh, bullish price action, it'll be a nice place to take a, a long trade. Um, for those that want to uh, sell it, you can, all right? You can, you can sell it from up here. Uh, that's not my trading style, but if it works for your trading uh, plan, do it, all right? Sell to the buy, all right? I do, I do believe this is the uh, higher probability trade. We just have to wait until it starts to show bullish price action at, upon the pullback, all right? It may pull back 
down here. We don't know yet. We just don't know. But uh, I would like to see it because if it does form, if it does form that, then we we may have an inverted head and shoulders going on here. All right. And I would love to see that. Okay. So this is that one. That one's going to require patience. Aussie, Aussie U.S. dollar. All right. This one. Uh, let me see. I'm not going to have enough time to go through all of these. Uh, we formed a flag, right? We have a nice little channel. It got below that channel. Looks like a fake out of some kind. And then we go up to the top here. We never took out and broke a, 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 a higher than that high. Okay. So, uh, and here we come back down. All right, we have formed a bearish engulfer here. I like this. I like this formation. I like this formation because it seems bearish to me. All right, and if we go to the four hour, or we go to the four hour, this is a bearish engulfer, and I'm waiting for price to pull back up, and then come down. All right, I'm looking for price to pull up, uh, somewhere, somewhere, hereabouts. All right. And then uh, take this this take this uh, short, all right. Uh, I think that we don't won't have to wait long. Maybe uh, we might see this uh, uh, somewhere between Monday night and Tuesday morning. But uh, I do believe that uh, this one should turn out to be pretty a pretty good uh, a pretty good uh, opportunity. Just look forward to at least sweep these highs. I'm looking for I'm looking for that sweep of the highs. All right. And uh, we'll see if we can catch this on the way before it starts its hit, hitting down. Aussie Swiss, if I can get this done in under a minute, that'd be great. All right, Aussie Swiss, you see the four hour, it's very bearish. All right, we had a very impulsive move to the, a bearish impulsive move. I'm looking forward to pull back to retrace naturally. And uh, when it does, I'm looking to take that short down to right around 59,200. Okay, and uh, NZD Swiss, I'm looking for the same thing. All right, a nice move to the downside last week, uh, the last couple of weeks. All right, and I'm waiting for it to pull back up after last week's uh, move to, and move sideways. Uh, this little consolidation, I'm looking for it to pull back up so I can take a short to the downside. All right, you can take the buy from here if you'd like, but I'm, I'm looking for the sell. All right, and um, if I can just stop making marks on this thing. Uh, did I say CAD, CAD Swiss? We have another impulsive move. We have another impulsive move, CAD Swiss. Uh, it may uh, turn around here because of these lows all the way over here. All right, I like these lows here. All right, but this is the higher probability area that I would want to take a short from. All right. This is CAD Swiss now. And uh, th this is the, uh, from th these areas, this is where I would want to take my short. All right. It may work here. I'm going to keep my eye on this level at uh, 0 0.66297. We'll see what happens there. We'll see what happens. All right. And uh, NZD, USD, NZD, USD, it's weak against the US dollar. I'm looking for this to drag down. I don't think we'll have to wait very long. I think that, uh, look at the daily. You can see that. All right, if we go to the, I got less than a minute, folks. All right, I'm looking for this pullback. That's it. I'm looking forward to pull back short term uh, strength, right? I can't get it. Short term strength. I'm looking forward to round over. That's it. This is an impulsive move. I'm looking for the correction and then down. This will be a high probability trade from up here. That's why I got the alert here, but it may not make it up that high. It may only make it up to sweep this high here. All right, which is around 61576. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. All right, hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel uh, to help it grow. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. May profits be upon you.